Okay, need to talk about this here. I know you all saw it by now. I'm super late to the party on this, but how can you not talk about this? The party of freedom, the party of free expression, freedom of speech, anti-cancel culture, they're back to their roots. Porn bad, I don't like it, ban it. So the Ohio Senate candidate J.D. Vance told a Catholic magazine in 2021, this is just last year, folks. This isn't something that they have uncovered from 1997. This is from 2021. He said that porn should be restricted to help an isolated generation thrive. Imagine thinking that porn is the reason why this generation can't thrive. It's not anthropogenic climate change or student debt or the cost of housing, the cost of living. No, it's because they're looking at porn. In other words, the one thing that maybe gives them some satisfaction for like 20 minutes every other day, take that away from them. No happiness allowed because that doesn't make me happy, so I don't think it'll make them happy. Ridiculous. But think of the children exactly $27, right? Think of the children. Let's get into this. Going beyond even the GOP's own platform, Republican Senate candidate J.D. Vance told a Catholic magazine last year that pornography should be banned because it's stopping Americans from getting married and starting families. Is it, though? Citation needed. What evidence do you have to suggest that uh, pornography is stopping people from getting married and starting families? I mean, there are people who are married. There are families who enjoy looking at porn. Hopefully not together, but I mean you still might look at porn if you're married, perhaps. In fact, I'd argue that a majority of people do. So this idea that, you know, this is going to solve this problem, mm, I don't think so, buddy. This is why we don't take conservatives seriously, because they can identify problems once in a while, but the solutions that they apply are almost always brain dead. I think the combination of porn, abortion, have basically created a lonely, isolated generation uh, wait, aren't the people getting abortions not lonely because they're having sex? Is porn stopping people from having sex? Like, I I'm so confused. This seems like a contradiction, but I could be, I could be wrong here. Uh, so they're not getting married, they're not having families, and they're actually not even totally sure how to interact with each other. Speak for yourself. I can interact with people just fine. Uh, Vance said in a newly unearthed interview with Crisis Magazine from August of 2021, I will proudly die on the hill of defending porn. And I'm right there with you. <laughs> no healthcare? Okay, I don't like that. No free education? Don't like that either. No abortions? Okay, I'm really getting mad. But don't like that. No porn? You take away our porn? Oh, that's it. We burn it down. <laughs> we burn it the fuck down. <laughs> The writer spoke with Vance at a gathering for young conservatives where Vance was a keynote speaker. She wrote that after asking him his thoughts on porn and birth control and their effects on familial decline, Vance admitted he wants to outright ban pornography. What an authoritarian little prick he is. And I love how he's speaking to young conservatives. I mean, Jesus, think of how sexually repressed you've got to be as a young conservative. Like, you can't watch porn. It's evil to jerk off. The Bible literally says that if you spill your seed outside of a woman's womb, you should be put to death, does it not? So you have to walk around as a young conservative with a boner all the time. And then uh, when people rightfully look at you as some sort of a freak, then you have to blame everything else but your weird lifestyle that you've chosen for yourself because of the religion that your family brainwashed you in because of the country that you happen to be born into. Vance's campaign didn't provide a comment about his more recent thoughts on porn and how they would factor into his priorities as a senator. In 2016, the GOP and its own official platform declared porn a public health crisis, Jesus, but stopped short of calling for it to be outlawed completely. Vance, who wrote, for, uh, who wrote his memoir about witnessing firsthand poverty and addiction and their impact on families in Ohio, has made... Uh, conserving traditional families and ending abortion main planks of his conservative platform but like if you are in poverty and at, as long as you can afford internet you can get porn for free because we have the internet so it's not like one of those destructive habits that you know you're losing money to right it's it's less harmful than even smoking because smoking costs a lot of money. I mean, how much is a pack of cigarettes now? It's so expensive. So it's it's weird that he focuses on on this. And I, I just I'm so sick of Christians trying to impose their twisted view of morality on everyone in society. 
You know, they talk about how abortion is bad and porn is bad, but yet they don't want to do anything to address the housing crisis, food insecurity, healthcare crisis in this country. How is porn and abortion, you know, worse than the fact that tens of thousands of Americans die every single year due to a lack of health insurance? But they're like, oh, no, no, it's, it's the porn. Really? It's the porn? I mean, your priorities are ass backwards if you actually fucking think this. And I'm sorry, there's absolutely 0% chance that this man does not regularly look at porn. 0% chance. When this photograph was taken, probably earlier that morning, he looked at porn. Guarantee it. So let's see. In his statement on the Uvalde school shooting, Vance cited the absence of strong family values and not the lack of gun control. Well, of course. To explain why a gunman would murder 19 children and two teachers. Quote, we need to address the culture of fatherlessness and drug addiction in our country, focus on the importance of family so that our next generation is guided and empowered with strong support systems, Vance said. And they'll talk about like drug addiction, but these same motherfuckers won't even advocate for legalizing all drugs. They'll keep it, you know, restricted to the black market so it's unregulated and then people will overdose when they end up getting drugs that are you know mixed with fentanyl and then they're like i don't know keep it illegal even though that's very clearly a failure god they have absolutely no policy prescriptions whatsoever it's all just like feelings based this is the facts above feelings the facts don't care about your feelings party and they're all like well you know x problem exists so it's probably because we haven't banned porn yet okay i mean there has to be some sort of causal mechanism that you find if you want to apply policy solutions to these issues you know crippling society but they literally just like go based on their feelings it's so unhinged senator josh hawley who endorsed vance hasn't explicitly called for a porn ban that right there is definitive proof that josh hawley is very progressive <laughs> but at last year's national conservative conference hawley argued that porn and masturbation were creating a national crisis for men jesus christ i mean how can you read this article and not think that conservatives are deeply stupid they have no logic they have no rationale they're just like these are lawmakers jd vance is a potential senator and you have people in there talking about how porn is bad in congress in the senate is that not insane well you know young men are masturbating and that's causing a lot of societal problems uh what if i told you josh holly that all of these societal problems um even though they're perhaps new a lot of them are new um masturbation itself isn't new it's existed all throughout the history of time all throughout the history of time if you believe in creationism and you think that the earth was created 5,000 years ago guess what adam in the garden of eden was busting nuts all over the place okay masturbation has always existed because it is a human phenomenon right it's natural so for you to say oh these new problems it's masturbation rather than saying oh it's neoliberalism decades of neoliberal economics killing our country but that's not it. It's fucking dudes who are wanking it. Shut the fuck up. You're just not a serious person if you think this way. You're not. Like, I actually think you have a low IQ if you come to this conclusion. If you think that societal issues are the result of masturbation and porn, you actually are a stupid person. Now, that's not to say that porn or masturbation can't be a problem because everything is fine in moderation. Like, if it's actually, you know, um, debilitating your sex life then sure stop masturbating but i mean in terms of just like society um ha being affected by masturbation and porn not happening prove it but you can't so they just say that they feel like it's porn yeah well i feel like you're a dipshit and i have more evidence for that than you have for porn being bad